happened to be here. Totally innocent, right? Look, uh, Todd, I didn't say anything to him. What's the matter, Zeus? You feel neglected? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, well, harassing Blair is not the right way to get my attention. I wasn't harassing them. I was entertaining them. Yeah, well, don't do it, because that's not what I pay you to do. What do you pay me for? I thought I was supposed to be helping him out with the baby. We're supposed to be on the beach in Bali right now. Yeah, well, plans change. I told you about that at the cabin. Yeah, but I never knew why they changed. I mean, your wife, she's a real long-stemmed American beauty. Now that you're in the same house, maybe you don't want to take the kid away from her, huh? I don't pay you to ask questions either. Okay, okay. But if we're going to stay in Landview, I'm going to need some uh, warmer clothes. What happened to the money that I gave you when I told you to lay low? Laying low cost a bit more than I thought. Fine, fine. You know, you, you could have called. So, tell me about this party I'll be working. Oh, no, 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 you're not working the party. But I promised your wife. Yeah, well, she'll get over it. I don't want you and Blair in the same room. No offense, but you know too much. I thought you trusted me. Yeah, well, I did until I caught you in the park sneaking around behind my back. So this is it? The end of the act? No. Look, you're still on the payroll. Zeus, I need you to lay low for a little while. And when I figure out what my plans are, I'll let you know where you fit in. As always, Maestro, your wish is my command. Oh, uh, one more thing. What do I do with these? Thought I told you to get rid of those. Ah, just the opposite. You told me to keep them. For the day when we grab a kid again and make for the South Seas. Of course, if you're back in love with the missus, maybe I should uh, get rid of them. No, don't, don't get rid of them. We're going to be spending the winter in Bali? No, you're going to be spending the winter in hibernation. All right. All right, Maestro, fine. For how long, though, until I call you? Do you have a better offer? And I'm going to hold on to those. Enjoy your party, Maestro. Sounds like your wife's looking forward to it. Ball idea has got legs. No, it was our idea. And look, circulation is up 12%. And people yeah. said that your mother didn't have a future in the newspaper business. Oh, now, Star, I do believe that Daddy just gave Mommy a compliment. Yeah, well, you deserve it. Thank you. This party could be the beginning of a whole new era for Landview. <laughs> well, it's not just going to be a party, so I hope that you made the arrangements with the magician. Oh, uh, you know, the magician just can't make it. Oh, no. Look, why don't we dump this kid with the nanny and go down to the boat, check on the last minute details for the party? Well, that's a good idea, but when we got home from the park, we sent the nanny home sick, and Star needs to take her nap, and definitely you need to have something to eat, okay? All right, well, we'll check on the boat tomorrow. The child's got to come first, I guess. Hmm, what a guy. I'm going to go fix you some noodles, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Blair in the kitchen. Hey. That's a scary thought. Then again, whoever thought I'd be sitting here talking to you. So your Aunt Vicky, she thinks that I should just give up on the past and try and move on. What do you think of that, huh? You think she's right? Give me, give me some kind of a sign. Yeah, well, I guess I'll take that as a yes. Look, you know, I don't think we're going to be going to the South Seas anytime soon. But don't blame me, all right? I have to talk to your old lady. She's the one who wants to keep you here. And we might as well, right? Cow time. Going somewhere, Daddy? Well, you are acting very guilty, Paul. Guilty. You're acting like you didn't want me to see the passport. 
Well, look, you know, not everything has to be about you. I think I just hit a nerve. So go tell me what's going on, Todd. Nothing. I was just going through my papers, and I, and I saw the passport. It's the one that I had to get in Ireland to get back here, because Patrick Thornhart took mine to get to the States. You remember that? Well, I uh, caught you doing something. What's that supposed to mean? It means I know you, Todd, and I know what those passports are for. You know so much? Yeah. Fine, you tell me. Well, I, <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. Spoil what? Well, our anniversary is tomorrow, but you remember that, don't you? And, well, I assume, I hoped that Maybe those passports, were, were, they were just send me on the honeymoon that I never went on. Honeymoon? Yeah, I know it's a little conventional and sentimental for us, but even the king and queen of land, you need to get away sometimes. I was thinking maybe, I don't know, um, a suite at the Ritz in Paris, or maybe a chalet in San Moritz, or I don't know, our own little bungalow on the beach in, in Bali. Bali? Yes, I've never been there, Todd. I've always wanted to go right to the end of the earth. No fax machines, no phones, just you and me and Star and the nanny, of course. And what about your gala party? Oh, we'll leave right after that. We'll sneak away and no one will ever even know that we've left. And when we come back, we'll be even closer than we were before. So tell me, Todd, is this just my fantasy, or, or am I reading your mind? Is that what the passports are for? What else? Really? We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go away? I mean, we're gonna have our own honest to goodness honeymoon? Goodness has nothing to do with it, but what the hell? Oh, Todd, thank you so much. Thank you. What are you, you're upset? No, you I'm not upset. This? I'm happy. I'm so happy. I never thought I would be this happy again. <laughs> this must be a shining. Let me ask you something, Briggs. Do you like your job? Fine. Then do it. Don't tell me that you're here to congratulate me on my exclusive. That would kill me all over again. No, I think one death and resurrection per year is sufficient. Actually, this is a personal call. Okay. What's going on? This is, uh, what's her name's? Yes, I know that. Well, I'm sorry I left it at your house. You didn't. I was very upset yesterday afternoon, rather overwhelmed by Elliot's death and all the things that have happened. So, I decided to go up to my cabin to clear my head a little bit. And that's where I found the bunny. How did it get to the cabin? I would venture to say it did not hop there. When are you going to tell Blair that it was you, not Carlo Hesser, who kidnapped your daughter? Todd, not only did you kidnap your own daughter, that's not bad enough. You're allowing Blair to think that Carlo Hesser did it? Oh, <laughs> wouldn't want Carlo Hesser to get a bum rap. Forget about him. I'm worried about you. You have told me more than once that you do not want to follow in our father's footsteps and recreate the evil life that he led. Well, don't look now, mister, but that is exactly where you are headed. Our father was a liar, a man who kept terrible secrets. Just consider the damage that was done. Not just to us, but to everyone that we loved or tried to. So you are finally ready to admit that we are just like Victor Lowe. Oh, Lord. stop it, Todd! Look, there's only one person who can change the path of your life right now, and that's you. If you have any hope at all of winning out over your past, you cannot allow yourself to be trapped in secrets. Please, go to Blair. Tell her the truth. Why don't you pop over to Blair's and have the same conversation with her because I am not the only one in this marriage that has a secret. I understand that you're...